then I make a U and I'm going to fill it in with a couple lines so I start here at the top and pull back towards almost the middle then once I have those on there we'll put our little fluffs here at the end so I just make a couple C's one C and then a backward C so that's a dandelion fluff then we want maybe we'll put a little fun sprig here so this will just shoot up and then we'll put like a little spiral so this I just set my brush down and I just very gently spiral it out Then to make our shamrock, which is the most important part since it is St. Patty's slash spring, I'm going to just make a little line right here. And now shamrocks can be made by just making hearts. So we'll start with this first one. And I'm just going to make a little heart. And you can do one half and then pick up your brush and then do the second half. Then this one's going to come out here at an angle about right, right about there. So one half of a heart, then another. And then I'm going to kind of move my glass just a little bit. That way I can get the right angle. And then I'm going to put one right here. And then voila, there's a shamrock. If you want to do like a cute little sprig thing with uh some little berries on it. We'll put a little guy right here, just shoots up, put a C and then a backward C, and then some little offshoots, another C and then another one. Okay, and if you want to, you can add a couple little wisps of maybe some grass in here. And this is just a very flicky type motion. You just set it down, just kind of flick up with your brush. If you practice before you do all this, It'll help you. And I just practice on a piece of paper or on my little paper plate, pa plate palette right here. Now, if you're doing a beer stein, the beer steins are just shamrocks. Um, so you can start by making one line and then maybe we'll have another shamrock here and then we'll get another little one like right there. And then once again, shamrocks are hearts. So there's three hearts. You could do four if you want, but just make sure that you ha that the shamrocks are across from each other. So to do one that is four, I'm gonna make my half heart here, complete it. I'll put another heart here. Then another one right here. And then my fourth one will be right here. And there you have shamrock, four leaf clover. One more, just a regular one, a simple heart right here. Add another heart here. And then one more. And then voila, there you go. Let this dry a little bit, and then you can just go back in with a couple dabs of color and just kind of fill in little spots here and there. When you do that, you can use your detail brush. And then I would just come back in here for the four leaf clovers and just kind of wiggle my brush down a little bit and put a little stroke of color on there. And then that's it.